Welcome to another episode. Today we're going to finish up our last in John bike and the uh, League Zolotan kit. We're going to keep just moving forward. So it's going to be a short intro and we're just going to get into it. Yot Gunnar sat in the troop. Compartment of a Hackathon land fortress as it roared into battle. They Sorry, the Thines band of hearthkin kept packed in around him, looked into safety harnesses that helped them ride out each jolt as the land fortress smashed through ruins and struggled off incoming fire. The bays moved combat lightning tinted the heraldic colors of the Great Earth Thrain Thuan Leagues that adorned each kin's void armor. Their League Pen Panali was displaced in the traditional partner was born by Anuka's kindred for thousands of years and it's always stirred Yoh's heart to see his warriors adorned that way. The ancestors are watching, he growled, his tone conveying his pride at the idea. The ancestors would find much to please them with this rugged band. They were, in his opinion, the finest fighters in Torg's oath band. That they are Thane, replied Kema, the Thurek, without looking up, she remained focused on the L7 missile launcher braced on her lap. She, as she ran, last checks on its systems. We'll learn their rear guard added. Votek, the lucky, slotting a magazine into his auto tech pattern bolter with a deceive check clack or decisive clack. Especially if you can keep from failing into, sorry, falling into 
sink mud while we're under fire this time. Lucky. Put in Kama's turv the ironkin modulating his voice to be heard over the bass rumbling of the nearby explosions. The hearthkin chuckled take as much as any of them. No mistakes, said Yost. The steel is his voice, letting them know. The time for folks was over. Get helms locked and visors down. Check your seals and make sure your guns are true as rough. Routes, I know. It's orcs we're fighting. We don't give them openings. Several months of Industrial bus bustles follow as his warriors did as ordered. Armor steels wind as they looked. Auto loaders chattered and last cells crumbled as weapons were primed. One after another, the warriors of his squad re reported combat readiness, each voice now preceded excuse me, by a hard check and underlaid by soft Static as they spoke over their common channels or calm channel. Deployment immediate, sorry, deployment imminent came from the driver's voice from the an emitter grill in the ceiling. Yotes heard the pitch of the vehicle's power plant changing and caught the muffled scream of the hecaton heavy conversion beam lifting or letting fly. We came here to treat with humans Sh strike a deal from settling rights Yote remained his hearthkin should have been peaceful orcs got here first and killed them all so no deal just dead or death for the green vermin and a new system of Anuk's kindred. As one, his squad thumped armored gauntlets against their chests, the old Void Father sighs in the in the affirmative. Kovimin's Kov oath band are going to make a combat drop against the orcs who've taken over 
the old human industry industrial belt to stop the alien churning out their garbage battle tanks but first we need to knock out the oak or orc flanks gun, uh, flank guns on the ridge or her landers will be sailing to far space another resounding slam of armored fists against chests this new the stakes they knew the stakes knew what the ancestors expected of them more were words would be a waste and said Yoth activated his armor's field crest flexed his conclusion gauntlet or concussion gauntlet and waited for the combat lighting to change the Hecaton Hecaton decelerated hard the bay's lighting snapped from mauve or mauve to electric blue moving as one the hearth can hit the release lever on their hardness or so harnesses to sorry and paled a uh, peeled out as the hecaton hatch burst open the din of battle engulfed yoth at once even as his armored boots hit dirt the thane heard the crude clatter of orc guns the green skins bestial battle cries and the snarls snarling engines of their ramshackled speedsters <clears throat> youth yot excuse me took in the scene quickly the infantry of Combs Oath Band were disembarked from their hecaton as the mass of vehicles pounded fire into the scrap metal fortifications atop the ridge. Brokeheim thundered Cain stomped from the transport rear hatch exo frame whining in and thumping with each step some distance of yotes right or some distance to yotes right call torg disembarked in the midst of his hulking iron horde bodyguards hearthkin used their heavily built transports for cover as they drew up their finger line or sorry firing lines then advanced out into battle with their guns blazing a few hundred yards Upslope, Yoth could see the orc flank guns with muzzles aimed menacingly skyward. Partly screened by sc scrap iron bare 
barricades, but the kin and their targets was an onrushing mass of orcs, foot sloggers, pounding along with a wide charge as crude vehicles wove between them. Many of the greenskins hung to the or hung on to particular precarious fighting platforms or led from windows as they spread shot in the general direction of the kin. The firing line broke their charge. Came call, Torgoth's voice through the calms. Steady advance. Ancestors guide your aim. This last was both a blessing of fortune and occurrence, but also a common or also a command. The call had cast the eyes of the ancestors over the enemy line, and now the readout of Yotes visor lit with glowing design or their sorry designator glyphs that picked out priority targets. He did he didn't need to take orders, his warriors acted. They were kin. They knew one ancestor's minds. Or sorry, one another's minds. Moving with confident shirtly Yotes Hearthkin jogged out in front of their hecaton, maintaining a firing line. The void armored <coughs> shouldered jolts to get together as the kin bun bunched up, making an armored bulwark with their bodies and leveling their guns. Yot knew this place in the line, sorry, knew his place in the line as well as he knew his own name, the precinct presence of his family about him bol bolstered his already for formidable nerves as did the sight of the oath band's warriors locking together in a uh, bristling battle line to either flank. The ancestors are watching. This time Yot bellowed it as a battle cry. His squad echoed him as they let fly their shots, join, joining the devastating firestorm erupting from the kin battle line. Bolts shelled below bloody craters in green flesh. Hails of Hyla's fire stitched glowing rents into the charging orcs, punching one savage alien after another off their feet. The Hecaton kept up their ruthless barrage of covering fire. Energy beams 
and storms of missiles blasted orc vehicles into expanding clouds of shrapnel and graviton blasts from the broke higher thunder and kin mashed charging beasts into un re, re, reconcile ruins of pulped flesh and metal <clears throat> Somewhere along the line, a uh, kin raised her voice in a uh, calm, amplified war song. More voices joined her as the advance began to, or began, a steady stride uphill into the teeth of the orcs' onslaught. Explosive projectiles flew amongst the kin, tearing through void armor and through warriors to the ground, or throwing warriors to the ground. Menix ducked back, using their armored bodies to shield kin, fellowed by the hails of crude bullets or pierced by the shrapnel of greenskins bomb launchers the orcs struggled closer those behind trampled their own wounded in their eagerness to join the fight yot gritted his teeth and kept f firing as the bar barbecue alien bones or bore down upon them or sorry barbaric aliens bore down upon them <clears throat> rarely close quarters yot barked clearing clenching his concussion gauntlet tightly and bracing for the inevitable impact <clears throat> The orc's charge hit home like an avalanche. The kin braced, bellowed their war cries, and held huge orc axes, crunched through armor, and gun butts smashed up into greenskins. Chest and jaws, point blank shots, blue come combatants from both sides off their feet. Yotes dropped his shoulder and let his fists annihilate him. Or his first assailant Im impetuous do the work. The orc doubled over as though it had run into a boulder and a round form Camar Travers auto tech pattern bolter took the brute's holder heads off before it could straighten up a punishing uppercut dealt with a second orc the concussion gauntlet increasing the mass of the thane's blow also that his opponents was fluent or flung skyward as if it had stamp stamped on a landmine Yote grimaced as he saw Vot Votik the Lucky fall and Orc and Orc 
hatchet buried in his visor. A blast from Yotes Ita Karn plasma pistol. Ensured the hatchet wielder would slay no more of his kin. The battle line flexed and suddenly the last of the orcs were dashed back up the hill, leaving their dead heaped in the wake. Cowards, spat Yot. Resume advanced, came Kal. Torg's command through uh, the calms. The surviving kin pushed forward, their firing lines now dispersing into individual skirmish groups as the advance gathered pace. Ahead, Yote could see a second line of greenskins formed and forming and the rot or the rout reversing as excuse me, more heavily armored orcs lumbered into the fight. The kin hammered their advance enemies with gunfire and took fire in return. The Thane frowned as he re re ally re Allied Akhevener the and his pioneers were overdue, as though conjured by the Thane, though a rising base hum cut through the dim of battle, Yot allowed himself satisfied gain satisfied grins as the orcs on the right flank turned, pu puzzlement turned ha to howl of sh shocks, the manacoil bikers of Arcanians pioneers swept up from the cover of the boulder fields to silence into the greenskin line. Hernkin guided the their skimming bikes and with cool determination, waving through the orc panic, shooting while their gunners mowed down the aliens with bursts of forced fire. <clears throat> reduced as the kin prepared uphill into the disordered rabble. This is for lucky, growled Yot, as he and his hearthkin stormed forward with guns blazing in vengeful fury.
Well, welcome to the end of the video. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe and tell your friends and feel free to leave a comment, especially if you think you can have suggestions on what I can do to improve the channel. And we'll uh, see you in the next one.